Hello and welcome to my cozy nest. I start with a wooden 3D love sign. These types of signs are fairly difficult to decoupage because they have lots of curves and holes. Sanding off the edges is not as straightforward as with square or round shapes. That is why I will show you a special technique for the edges. As with most of my decoupage projects, I start with white chalk paint. Chalk paint adheres to the surface as few other paints do and it gives a quick background for napkins. My personal issue is that I usually apply too much paint at once and then deal with drips. So craft smarter and use only a little paint to prevent it from dripping over the edge. If it does, just smooth it out so it will not form an uneven edge. I separate the top ply of my napkin and put the two white plies aside. I positioned my napkin so that the butterfly will be at the heart of the sign and cut off the excess. This just makes it easier to maneuver the napkin. I apply glue to the right side of the sign and work in stages. After I place the napkin, I cover it with a plastic bag and smooth out any wrinkles or bubbles. Instead of a plastic bag, you can use any transparent PVC wrapping or a PVC folder. It just provides separation between the napkin and your fingers so that you do not tear the napkin when smoothing it out. It's very important to apply glue right to the edge of the sign so that the napkin sticks well to the entire front and when you are smoothing it out, press really well along the edges. The napkin is now glued to the front and it is time to cut off the excess. I usually sand off the excess, but this is such an odd shape, I will use a different method. First I cut off as much as I can and make cuts in tight spaces. I push my scissors through holes to make an opening. And I make a mistake, you will see me fix it later. Now I prepare my workspace. Ideally you would want something that does not burn underneath, but at least remove anything plastic and keep a bottle of water nearby. Take a lighter, these long ones work best for me, then light the edge of the napkin. The napkin will burn right to the edge where it is glued on the sign. Simply brush off the ashes with a coarse brush. Brush away from the napkin so that the ash does not taint it. You 
continue this all around the sign. Light it, leave it to burn, brush it off. If you have a better technique, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know. The edges still needed some attention, but it was much easier than trying to sand between those letters. I used a combination of my trusted sanding block, scissors and a precision knife. Now let's fix that mistake from earlier. The letter E is missing a pink bit at the top. I find a similar piece of the design in the leftover napkin and tear it away. After I apply a little glue on the letter, I place the tiny piece on it and cover it with more glue. I will wait for this to dry and then cut off the excess. I take polyvine decorator's varnish and apply it over the top of the napkin. This is very important as I do not want to stain the napkin with the color that will go on the other sides of the sign. Now I paint the rest of the sign with vintage paint metallic gold. I love this color and I use it often. It is not chalk paint so the adhesion is not as good. Looking back it would have been better if I first painted the entire sign with white chalk paint and then painted gold over the white. However, because this is not chalk paint it does not need a top coat. So after two coats of this the sign will be complete. This is the finished sign. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And please do subscribe and hit the like button. It really helps to get these videos out there. Thank you for watching.